Hey guys, welcome to my channel Sunshine Tarot. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is a weekly forecast for the week ahead of the 19th to the 24th of October 2021. This will help us to get a sneak peek into what we might expect or experience in the next few days. Let's get started. Please give me a moment while I shuffle and draw the cards. All right, this is going to be an interesting week. The first card is the Knight of Swords. This card represents your week as a whole. Swords corresponds to air energy, that is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The Knight of Swords is a card which is representative of ambition, energy, drive, determination and being unstoppable. So for some of you, this could be a very busy week, you know, because you will want to do everything to achieve that goal or, you know, that target that you've set for yourself. Um, remember, however, to not push yourself too much. You know, the horse in this card represents your body and the horse looks very uh, sort of stressed and strained. So while it is important to work hard, uh, you must take care to not exert yourself because it will bring down your efficiency and competency levels. So be unstoppable by all means, but also remember to take rest and relax when you need to. The second card is the lovers. This card represents something unexpected that might arise this week. The lovers corresponds to the energy of Gemini. Now in the context of love, it's a great card to get because it represents a soul connection or a twin flame. However, in this position, I feel that, you know, especially in the areas of work, finances, career or a business enterprise, this card could indicate that you might have to make a major decision uh, concerning these areas. So, you know, you could be in a conflict about two different jobs or job offers. For some of you, it might be that, you know, you have been following your passion for some time, but it's not really fetching you the returns that you were expecting. So you might have to decide between giving that up in order to follow a more regular job that will definitely, um, you know, maybe bring you the returns in terms of money, but it may not give you soul satisfaction. So this is a week where you will have to make a major decision in your life concerning work, finances, business enterprise and tangible things such as also wealth and property. The next card is the Three of Cups. This card represents how you can stay grounded and balanced through this week. The Three of Cups is one of my favorite cards. And uh, this is a card which represents, you know, celebration, uh, merrymaking, having a good time, letting your hair down with your friends or colleagues or family members. Now, given that the first card is the Knight of Swords, which is an intense, you know, action oriented card. I think this is a very good card, which is a reminder to say that, you know, work hard by all means but also learn to relax and let your hair down and have some fun with your friends, colleagues, whoever it is. The next card is the Hierophant. This card represents an important emotion you will feel this week. The Hierophant corresponds to the energy of Taurus. Um, in the context of love, this is a card which represents commitment and even marriage. However, in this context or in this position of an important emotion that you will feel this week, you know, the Hierophant is a card of tradition, convention and conformity. 
I feel for some people, you know, you could be waiting to get accepted into an institution, into a, a culture, a society, or into a group of people. Now, this could be whatever, you know, this could be a spiritual group, it could be an adventure group, anything. But this is a card where I feel you're expecting to get sort of initiated or, ex you know, accepted into a group wherein you feel accepted. The Hierophant sometimes also represents, you know, taking on a spiritual path or taking the advice of an elder, somebody who is unbiased, somebody who is spiritual and who can uh, give you the right guidance depending on your situation. The next card is the King of Pentacles. This card represents what will inspire you this week. Pentacles corresponds to Earth energy. That is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I think I've said this before, you know, the King of Pentacles is the most reliable, hardworking and dependable king in the tarot. He is somebody who has a great deal of discipline. He is somebody who has foresight. He plans for the future. He is abundant. He is comfortable. He's a good family provider because of his hard work, his discipline and his thorough planning. I feel uh, the king of pentacles, uh, you may have somebody in your life who is, you know, like a king of pentacles kind of figure, meaning somebody who is established, comfortable, abundant, disciplined. And this person is going to inspire you this week to, you know, achieve your goals. So you're going to be working very hard because you're inspired by the King of Pentacles and you want to be like him. The last card represents a message from the universe for you. We have the Two of Swords. Now, the Two of Swords is a card of indecision. It's a card of, you know, for some of you, you're putting off making a decision because you're pretending like it doesn't exist. And for some of you, you are waiting for enough information in order to make a balanced and well-informed decision. Now, you know, given that you are feeling very determined over here, like I've said, and I've also said that for some of you, you may have to make a major career decision in your life or a decision, you know, uh, regarding your career, finances, tangible assets or your business enterprise. You know, you are going to have to think very carefully and thoroughly about the decision that you will need to make. You will need to use a combination of logic and intuition. You will also have to wait to gather all the information that you need in order to make the right uh, you know, decision for you. My advice here would be to not put off making this decision. You know, sometimes when we are confused and we really don't know what to do, we ignore it. We say, okay, let's just put it off or let's pretend it doesn't even exist. But don't do that. Well, that's all I have for today. I wish you all a great week ahead. I will be back again tomorrow. Bye-bye.